Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming. I'm John and this is Foundation. Uh I haven't played on at all. We're still pretty much exactly where we were at the end of last episode. Uh we'll just welcome these two new villagers. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is still a little bit off. Um This is the last video of 2023. So I hope you've had a very good year, and I hope the next year is also very good for you. Let's say I hope next year is better than this year. No matter how good your 2023 one uh, was, I hope 2024 is much better for you. Okay, let's get into it then. Enough of that soppy stuff out of the way. So, what do we need to do? Well, uh, we have a quest to promote a villager, which is a good idea. Uh, but first, I want to give them a job to do. So, let's go to progression. Uh, common path. I want to open the bailiff office. Uh, office. Now that does obviously require a bailiff. Well, let's have a look. Let's add a sub building, add a bailiff office, and we will add. Ooh, doesn't need to be big. Let's give this a tower, shall we? All good. Right, they can get on and build that. What have we got? Advice, edict, and privileges. Yes, let's ratify an edict. What do we need to do? Acquire the contractual wage edict in the book. The book. Um, contractual wage edict. 100 gold to unlock. That's, that's pricey, but we'll do it. Uh, and I guess we'll enact it as well. There we go. We enacted our first edict. Once set, edicts and privileges can only be revised using the corresponding bailiff's mandates. Well, that's fine. Now, once that is built, we will want to promote one of our uh, villagers to commoner. Uh, do we want to levy funds? No, we don't at the moment. We, I mean, we don't have a lot of money, but that's fine. We are trading with... Who are we trading with? Northbury, currently. Uh, and we are selling berries, we are selling planks, and we are selling meat, I believe. Uh, berries, yep. Uh, planks, yep. And meat, yep. Okay, so we're selling all of that. That's good. Yep, excellent. Right. So we should be getting some money in. We're already back up to 126, which is quite nice. Uh, mandating the bailiff. Yes, let's have a bailiff. We're going to have to do that anyway, so we might as well get a, a bit of advice on that. Right, what are we doing next? Uh, I'm, I'm blindly spinning the camera around as if that's going to give me a clue. Right, uh, let's have another look at trade because we can sell polished stone to Northbury. Which means I should be able to unlock the stonemason hut. 50 gold. Yes, let's do that. And let's build ourselves a stonemason hut over here. There we go. Uh, we do have some cloth, I think. It's Yes, there. I couldn't see it for a second. So we do have the cloth. That's fine. Uh, and as soon as somebody moves in there, we can give them... Uh, uh, as soon as that's completed, rather, we can give them a worker. Okay. Let's spin on till that construction is done. Okay, our forester camp out here by our hunter's lodges is in. So let's give them a worker. We've got this set up. Let's have a look. To reforest just the edge of this hunting zone here. And hopefully we'll be able to spread that out a little bit. Get a little bit more meat coming in at a later date. That's the idea there. Okay, I will continue spinning on. Okay, our stonemason hut is built. We can assign a commoner. But first, let's unlock our decorative uh, options here. And let's put in some decorative stuff around some of these houses. Um, let's have a bush there. What have we got here? Uh, village decorations. Your villagers would enjoy decorations. 
Those will increase the desirability of an area for better housing and provide beautification, which improves your prosperity. Okay, well, let's do that. Uh, we want a flower bush. We can get a flower bush. Let's pop a flower bush in there. Uh, a wooden bench. Sure, let's have a wooden bench just on this side of the path here. Um, a village tree. Okay, we have the village tree out here. A road sign and a rope fence. A uh, road sign can go in there. And let's stick the rope fence in... Um, yeah, just here. That's fine. Advice followed. You have placed your first decorations. Decorations provide both beautification and desirability, which improves your village. Excellent. Can't close those down. Thank you. Now, this is in a beautification area. As is this. Good. That means we can actually promote a commoner. Promote. Oh, and our bailiff office is built as well. So let's wait until we've got some coins in. First things first. Thank you. Let's get a stonemason in there. Now, we are going to need somewhere to store these polished stones. So, we are going to require another warehouse. And we might as well place it next to the first one there. Except we can't afford it yet. Right, I'll spin on till we got a bit of money in. And we have a courier. What do you want? Earning influence. An isolated community of fishermen are looking for a kind-hearted builder. They need help constructing a bridge which will, would connect their village to the rest of the realm. They have not much to offer, but they promise to share good words about your generosity among the labourers. Uh, we got 90% chance of having a clear uh, blueprint if we assign a builder. Yeah, let's do that. We helped. We got some uh, labour influence for that. Excellent stuff. Okay, we still don't have any coins in. Um, do we have any traders? There's a trader just on its uh, way in there. So it shouldn't be long before we get a few uh, a few coins in the bank. Uh, we can assign a bailiff. Uh, we've only got one commoner, and that's Rosfrith, which increases our soldier training speed by 50%, which isn't great. So I'm going to leave it for a moment. Uh, we've reached the notable tier for labour. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Tax office, useful. We'll grab that immediately. Uh, refined architecture for the tavern. We don't have the tavern yet. Uh, tavern wall, milling taxes. Common maintenance privilege. Labour buildings upkeep reduced by 10%. Uh, devoted folks, labour and clergy mutual spend a uh, negative impact reduced by 50%. Or newcomers ignore the happiness immigration factor. Well, our happiness is good, so we don't want, need to worry about that. I think we should grab the devoted folks' privilege and reduce that uh, negative impact. Yeah, that should help us build up a little bit more influence there. Okay, let's build that warehouse. We have a little bit of gold. Not much, but a little bit. Where's that trader? Uh, oh, we've just got a lot more gold. Excellent. You've bought something worthwhile. Jolly good. Hmm. Okay, let's... promote another... villager. And we've got exactly the same. Never mind. We have a bailiff. Okay, we need to gain influence with the labour estate. Uh, mandates. Gain influence with the labour estate. Off you go. Okay, and we want to build a tax office. Let's build that. Where is our... Yeah, housing comes out to about here. Let's... Push that back a little.
and we will put in a tax office down here. Again, doesn't have to be huge, doesn't have to be impressive. There we go. That's probably fine. We'll stick a chimney on it as well. Why not? Um, and we'll stick a bush out the front door. Only going to cost us five gold. That's good. Okay. I will spin on until they are complete. Oh, we have a house upgrading. Oh, you are in a beautification area. That's good. So that's obviously where one of at least one of our commoners lives. Brilliant. I'll spin on. Oh, four newcomers. Hello. Hello, hello, and hello. We have another courier. Slightly better dressed, this one. What do you want? Advice. Influencing others. The fishermen are thankful for the blueprint as a bridge is definitely going to bring their community to the forefront. Uh, as thanks, they would like to trade a fair number of fish for some of your stones. 25 stones for 50 fish. Yeah. We have plenty of stone. Yeah, go for it. There we go. We got 50 fish for 25 stone. Excellent. Oh, I, I am building down here an additional market. Uh, we are going to sell meat and fish down here, I think. I just want to make sure we're well covered. Okay, how are we doing? We're doing all right. Uh, our warehouse is in, uh, and we are starting to uh, build up a stock of polished stone. Oh, our market is complete. There we go. Fish. Excellent. So, setting taxes. There we go. We'll set them quite low. We don't need a lot coming in at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, monthly profit from taxes, revenue above 100. Okay. What's that? Increased taxation. Yeah, we've done that. We'll bring it back down again now. Excellent. Right. That will pootle away to itself and hopefully earn us enough money. What next, then? Well, I think... We're going to need to build up a bit of money because we want to unlock some more stuff. We want to unlock clothing. That would be a good one. Um, and we'd want to unlock the goods market as well. So that's only 100 um, gold in total. But obviously we need the money to build the things as well. So let's start with clothing now. Hmm... We can use this space up here, can't we? That's fine. Okay, 25 gold for a sheep farm. So let's pop in one sheep farm to start with. Uh, you can also store wool. Probably shouldn't be storing um, wood in there as well. We'll need to store clothes in there. So I'll, I'll change that. I'll empty that out of wood, and uh, when that's empty, I'll replace that with clothing. Okay, and I will spin on again to build up some money. Right, I've played on a little bit. Um, we are still hurting a little bit for money, um, but we have ourselves a weaver's hut in, uh, and we are putting in a tailor's workshop as well. So we are making progress. Uh, our tax office is in, and our... Our tax collector is collecting taxes. We've managed to collect 21 so far. Which isn't a huge amount, admittedly, but, you know. Um, we have some food in here. Food is being sold through this market, which is good. Food is being sold through this market, which is good. Nobody is currently hungry, which is also good. Okay. Okay. What we are going to need to do is build another sheep farm, at least. One other sheep farm. Uh, I think... I can't remember what the... It, I think it's three sheep farms, two weaver's hut, one tailor is, is the um, the ideal. But at the moment, we just want to produce as much as we possibly can. And with the amount of money we have, that's not a lot. But once we've got some clothes in, we can then open up a trade route with... 
middle and we can sell fish and clothes to them. So that will bring us a little bit of money. I mean, not much. We get one gold per fish. I mean, we get more for berries. That, that's a really bad price. But it's the best we can get, essentially. Okay, in terms of expansion, obviously not yet because we don't have the money. But I think this tile here would be the best one. We'll get access to, uh, obviously, more land, uh, which we can put farming or something on. Uh, but we get more berries, which would be useful. Um, although we could put another gatherer's hut on here, couldn't we? I think one set of bushes can support two gatherer's huts. Let's start with that. That's probably a good idea. Um... Yeah, we'll just pop it in there. Oh, we don't have ten gold. Oh, well. We will do sooner or later. I'll spin on until uh, the building work is done and we've got a bit of money saved up. Okay, uh, we have successfully followed the advice to nominate a bailiff. So we've gained ourselves a bit more uh, labour influence there, which is nice. We've got a bit of money. Uh, I've spent some of it to put in a couple of sheep farms, so we're going to have uh, three sheep farms producing wool, which is good because, yeah, this is a bit of a hold-up at the moment. Um, we have 53, which means that we can unlock the goods market as well. We now can't afford to buy one, obviously, but uh, we'll build up a little bit of money there, uh, and once we can afford it, we'll put in... Uh, clothes stalls on each of our markets here. Um, let's have a look. Taxation-wise, we've managed to collect 50. We're halfway there. That That's okay. That's not terrible. Um, yeah, we've got no money to do anything. That's unfortunate, but the money is building up more quickly than it was in previous builds of the game, I have to say. Uh, I know we've every single time we've we've had a playthrough, we've hit this can't get enough money to build anything and expand but the money is building up more quickly um i don't know what they've done to to change that but it's see obviously they've reduced the cost of some of the buildings uh which makes it easier to to expand which makes it easier to earn money so yeah it doesn't seem as as crippling as it was before i said that that is a definite improvement but yeah, we will spin on a little bit longer. We'll, we'll get a bit more money built up. Um, we have one surf available currently. So we'll put one of those in the sheep farm. But we have another couple on their way in. Let's um, wait to greet them as they wend their way into focus. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. And now, once this is built, we can put another worker in there and that should hopefully produce us enough wool uh, to keep up with demand but we'll keep an eye on that how are we doing for everything um 10 clothes all right by the time we've got enough money to uh put in a, a clothing stall over here over here we should have enough clothes built up to make it worthwhile so I shall spin on until that happens. Well, hello there. What do you want? Improving trades with Northbury. Thanks to your increasing trade, a large number of folks are now looking to settle in Northbury, yet the village struggles to feed the extra workforce and asks if you can send them much-needed bread. Sorry, I don't have any bread. Sorry. Go on, clear off. Yeah, don't have any bread. Not yet. Okay, but we do have 181 coins. Uh, trade is going well. So, let us add in a good stall down here. And we might as well give it a sign since we've got the sign for it. There we go. Uh, we have currently 42 common clothes. We have 18, uh, 20 wool, 11 cloth. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. 
Um, everything seems to be going fine. Quite happy with that. Right. One of the... Oh, hello. We got some new uh, some newcomers. What we've got to think of next is whether we're going to go for the clergy or uh, the kingdom. So we can go for the monastery or the uh, fort. The fort is easier. There's not much you have to do with that. Just stick in a uh, basic keep and a barracks uh, and it will chanter away to itself. We'll build up with soldiers. We'll send them off every now and again to do missions and it will earn us gold and uh, other bits and pieces. Clergy, if we build the monastery, we can then put in uh, herb gardens so we can get herbs and berries. Which Herbs are a luxury item. So that would be good. Hmm. I think we'll go for Kingdom first. Uh, but not just yet. Uh, 157. How much is this land? 125. Yeah, go on. And let's immediately pop in uh, a gatherer's hut down there. And paint in a small extraction zone over those berries. Okay. We're up to 65 gold on our taxation, which isn't bad. Uh, we still have plenty of uh, residential building space left. Um, I'm actually going to bring it back from that path a little bit. Uh, give ourselves a bit more room to expand the church, which we're going to want to do at some point. There we go. Because uh, the church can currently hold 99. Uh, we're nearly at... Uh, nearly at 70 there, so... We're going to want to expand it sooner or later. But we're alright for the moment. Uh, okay, we can put a new worker in there and sell clothes. That will certainly help. What are you doing? Are you upgrading? Hmm... Let's stick some beautification over here. We're not going to be able to get much, because we don't have a lot of money. But if we stick a bush in there, and then... Hmm. Let's get a wooden bench out here. So that is now in a beautification area, but that one isn't. That one's not in range. Okay, well. At least we've got one of them. We can have some commoners living over here if we need to. Uh, we've still got a lot of space here to do stuff with. Um, not sure what at the moment. I think probably we want a tavern uh, somewhere. Um... Maybe in here? Seems like a decent enough place. Oh, we got a merchant. Hello, merchant. You walked all the way here. Well, what do you oh, what do you want? Wood for the elders. The elders are looking to repair a few bridges across the region. One of their merchants noticed your woodcutter camps and wants to make you an offer. Uh, hundred wood for a hundred and fifty gold and ten. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Do that. There we go. We got 150 gold. That's nice. Okay. Let's... There we go. Turn that off because it was showing us berries everywhere. Right. Uh, how are we doing for everything else? Planks we're doing okay for. Uh, wood we are doing okay for, but we've just sold 100 of them. That's fine. Cloth. Mm-hmm. Wool. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Um, our meat supply is doing okay. Right, what is next then? Do we want more... ...of this? Getting bread would be good. Um, let's have a look at our trade routes. Okay, we can unlock this trade route. Let's do that. Let's unlock that trade route immediately. Let's start selling clothes. 
Um, we'll start with over 75. Um, and fish will sell all over... Oop. 150. Because we have plenty of them. That should bring us in a little bit more money. Now. Hmm... <sighs> We want to wait until we got more uh, berries coming in. That would be ideal then, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. We can assign some workers to that. We are now out of workers. Tavern will use, will use berries to make the berry brew. Bread we can sell. As well as um, set up market stalls to supply it to our villagers. That's probably the smarter option. But entertainment is good. No, let's go for the tavern. Yeah, we're going to build a tavern. Okay. Uh, we want a berry brewery first. We'll make that a... small stone cabin. And we'll put that over here. Uh, with a service entrance on it. Uh, I do need a chimney for this, so let's stick a chimney on the outside. And build. We want to add a service counter, which can be a stone cabin on the back of there. Um, actually, let's spin it around, and we will put a, a service entrance on it there. And then we want a public lounge. And this is going to be the larger building. So we'll have a thatched hall. We'll bring that up a bit. Um, we'll stick a... Ooh, that's terrible. Let's get that actually on there, shall we? Take a thatched cabin on the side th there. That's as far up as we can bring that. Um... And let's have a stone cabin on the side there. That's fine. And then a welcoming entrance right on the front. Uh, we will give it a chimney. And we will give it a sign. And I tell you what. Let's have a couple of benches out the front. Excellent stuff. Okay. That is going to take a little while to build. Um, we do have the resources for it, except for the tools. And we should get those soon enough because we've just got a trader come through. There we go. Excellent. Right, we'll get that done. And we've been visited by another courier. Hello, what do you want? Polished stones surplus for beer. Neighbouring villagers want to uh, trade a surplus of beer gifted by the monks they are tending to. The folks are in desperate need of polished stones, which you sa seem to have in fair numbers. They want 50. No, that's going to take ages to put together, and we are selling them, so... No. Sorry. Off you go. Okay. Uh, our brewery is doing quite well. Uh, we've already got the... Uh, Berry Brewery and the uh, service counter in. Uh, and they are making pretty good progress on the rest of it as well. Um, we only need a few more bits and pieces to be brought over. It looks like most of them are on their way now. Um, I did remember, eventually, uh, that I'd left this on empty stock. So it wasn't actually storing anything. Uh, so I have remedied that now. So we now have common clothes in store in the warehouse... So we are able to sell them once we get enough. And in theory, we've now got some in the market to sell as well. So that's good. Okay, I will spin on one more time until the uh, the pub is done. Okay, our tavern has been established. Revelers are rejoicing over your village's very first tavern. Fine drinks and warm meals are expected, along with plenty of celebrations. There will be good times ahead. Indeed. There it is, our wonderful tavern. Uh, we will rename it. We will call it... 
inhospitable. There we go. Okay, uh, I've put in... Where are we? Uh, and over here, I have uh, removed this additional planting area for the forester. I've turned the forester off. Um, and I've put in another um, hunter's hut. Um, over here, I'm putting in another fisher's hut. Because uh, we do currently have eight unemployed villagers. Um, in fact, what I'm also going to do... Is I'm going to put in another stonecutter's camp over here. Like so. Uh, taxation, we're up to 71. We are getting a lot of new building going on, as you can see. Lots of houses are going in here. Um, we still have a bit of space over here, but we're probably going to want to expand our housing into this area as well. Um, so we'll need to... Um, actually, we'll probably put it up this side, because it's closer to this market. So we'll probably need to put in another uh, well down here uh, and then spread our housing down here uh, in terms of uh, the military fort which I think we should go for uh, I quite like the idea of having the monastery up on the hill there uh, so I was wondering whether it's going to be worth coming across here and putting our military camp on this side of the river um, I suppose I could come up this way couldn't I Hmm. I'd probably need more than one bit of land to make that work properly, because I'd want it actually up on this ridge a little bit, wouldn't I? Um. I suppose I could tuck it away all the way over there and have a bridge coming from this corner across. I mean, that would be easier, and the, the bridge would be much cheaper as well. And we get more berries. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy that bit of land. Let's buy bridges. And let's start building ourselves a bridge across here. Um, let's bring it up a little bit. There we go. How's that? Still... Hmm. All right. Let's bring it across this way. All right. No, we're going to have to bring it right up there. There we go. That's a heck of a bridge, isn't it? I don't like that. don't like that at all. Can we bring this over at all? Uh, that's not as bad. Yeah, go on. Build that. 125 planks. That'll take a while. Okay. Okay. Let us end the episode there, I think. We're doing okay. Um, we are going to need to expand our church fairly soon. We've only got uh, 20 spaces left in it. So that's going to fill up pretty quick. But we've got a uh, bailiff in. We've got a uh, tax collector in. Uh, we've got uh, an inn in. We've opened up a bit more land, so we're getting more food in. Uh, we've got clothing being produced. We've got polished stones being produced. We've done all right. We're, we've done all right this episode, yeah. We're opening up the path over here so we can get to these mineral deposits. I'm, I, yeah, I'm happy with the way things are going so far. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching throughout the year, for subscribing, for commenting, doing all of that stuff. It really does help. I hope next year is better for you than this year has been. I hope your lives continue to improve, and I hope you come back and watch more episodes with us. Thanks very much for watching. Please do give us a like and a subscribe. Please join us next time. Until then, Happy New Year. I've been John. This has been Foundation. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and bye-bye.